hello shrestha let's just wait for a couple of more minutes hi devarna hi zahida thank you for joining let's just wait for a couple of more minutes before we start all three of you had your dinner hello hello shrestha devarna zahida all three of you had your dinner yes good girl hello devakriti devana says tan zahida is making such eyes why zahida what happened why that kind of eyes shrestha says yep tan good zahida why making this big eyes hi hi but why that kind of eyes I'm not going to discuss anything scary. Don't worry. No, not yet. Hmm. Okay. So we'll just wait for one more minute before we start. And today's episode is going to be a little long because there's a lot, lot to talk about when we talk about visitation dreams. So I'll just wait for one more minute before we start. After a long time, I have seen you. Oh, okay. And how you are seeing me, Zahida? Oh, live. Okay, all right. Yeah. So today's episode, you are going to enjoy. Then, don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm gonna start soon. Okay. I think we'll just start, and whoever has to join will join eventually. so visitation dreams if you have seen the poster as the poster looks a little haunting because visitation dreams often feels to be very haunting it is a uh, visitation dreams especially when uh, you see dead people coming and talking to you you might know them you might not know them but uh, usually often people say that these are a part of your subconscious mind and all these things which is true dreams are a reflection of what the thoughts are going in our subconscious mind but uh, that is not true in case of visitation dreams because there are a lot of messages there are a lot of things that are associated with visitation dreams so it is very important for all of us to understand that even though a person has passed away that does not mean that our relationship with that person has ended okay it means that the relationship is just different now all right dreams can serve as a way for you to keep a connection and maintain a relationship in a different way with those people who have passed on to the different world i so if you see if you are one of such person who have seen dead people in your dreams and you have spoken to dead people or you have seen dead people trying to take you somewhere or anything like that that does not mean you are crazy it just uh, it is just a different type of dream which is called the visitation dream and it is a if you if you want me to describe what is visitation dream it is a experience where you truly feel that you know as if you have communicated with somebody who is a deceased and or who is a loved one or a deceased loved one you actually feel you have this kind of a very physical experience that you spoke to that person okay so uh, we'll talk about certain characteristics of visitation dream so that you can understand whether it matches with those your visitation dreams or not because often people think any dream as visitation dream but visitation dream has specific characteristics what are the such characteristics the first one is the person whom you are going to see the dead person they will seem very happy and healthy if the person in your dream actually uh, appears to be sick or injured or angry or upset it is more likely that it is not a true visitation dream in these cases this is usually a reflection of your own feelings of grief in visitation dreams it is common for the person to seem younger and healthier because uh, when you see a deceased person usually you will not see them the way they passed on passed away 
usually they are a little better version of themselves because that disease or anything or any suffering with which they were uh, struggling in their life that is no longer associated with them as they have moved on to the other world if the person was ill before their passing you will notice them in their dream they will not look very sick this is because illness does not carry with us through death okay so now comes the visitation the most visitation dreams in most visitation dreams it is very logical the thoughts are very logical you know exactly how you got from a to b so you know how it happened it is very vivid and it is very logical you will remember all the details of the dream if it's a visitation dream so it's it's more like an experience it's less of a dream and more like an experience that you would experience in case of a visitation dream okay if you have a very vivid dream when you remember fine details or even experience sensations of touch smell or sound it is very likely that it is an actual visitation dream most often the message and feelings in the dream is one of love and peace during a visitation dream our loved ones most often simply want to communicate that they love you they may have messages for others or they may even want to clear up unfinished business they may have an earth to make things right if you dream of a deceased person who is angry or yelling at you this is more likely a symbol for your own feelings while you process the stages of grief it's important to remember this if the dream is not a pleasant one so usually if you have a visitation dream your actual visitation dream it is more of peaceful and love but if it's a very negative one then it's probably your own emotions that you're still struggling with either to process the grief or uh, some characteristics of yourself which you are not able to accept it's not very uncommon to have a full conversation with loved ones who passed in our dreams but it's also not necessarily required so you can have a full conversation or it is not necessarily required sometimes as well okay any question anyone so far anybody any question so far i uh, otherwise i'll just continue so if you have a visitation dream you will have no question whether it was real or not because you will just feel it's very real you wake up knowing that something that you did not know before so when you wake up from your dream after you have this visitation dream you will have certain knowledge that you were not aware of before you went off to sleep when you feel particularly stressed out or are in a bad shape your loved ones come to you in a dream so that you can release some of your stress by spending time with them i know this i a lot of times this has happened with me they want to be your shoulder to cry on and they want to reassure you that they are still there for you they need you to know that they can still be your safe haven even if they are not physically there so they just want to assure you that you know you are not alone If you're wondering how to have a visitation dream there are things that you can do to have a visitation dream but I'm not going to talk about that because visitation dreams are natural some it happens it does not happen to everyone but it happens to many uh, we think it's only with us but many many in this world have visitation dreams they can see dead people coming to their uh, dreams they talk they have full conversations and they clearly remember each word of their conversation one of the thing that you is you are, it is important for us to remember is that our past on uh, or loved ones have their own spiritual needs and goals some people who have died are not able to communicate through dreams it's simply not a skill they have even with me a minute even with me but loved ones do not speak to me but smile and give me assurance yes yes absolutely free will is not something that we only have on earth it is something that we have a universal law so just hi moshumi thank you for joining i just hope you are doing well moshumi uh, so chandrani the point that you said that you know not all a uh, visitation uh, not all visitation dreams will have the dead one talking to you you know because it's a question of free will free will does not only exist in this world it exists there so if they want to talk they will talk if they don't want to talk they won't talk if they have to give you certain messages they will give otherwise they will not otherwise they will just come and just smile and assure that they are there 
they were nice saying last week my mother my grandmother in my mother saw my grandmother in a dream and in last month my grandfather and now she is saying that she is seeing them because she will she is going to die that is why she saw dead people coming in a dream no just ask her one thing the borna when they came did they say anything or what kind of feeling she had was it very terrifying was it ugly or was it very peaceful or why did she uh, when she dreamt that what was the feeling and did they specifically mention something if not then the answer is they just came to only assure they give messages or show something yes so i will talk about each one of the dead uh, you know what dead dream means but i'm just talking in general about uh, the visitation dreams first okay so dreaming of a person who has died and then has come back to life can also be symbolizing something in that person ending and then having a rebirth or a new beginning of sorts sometimes we also have visitation dreams where people say you know i'm coming back i have i can talk about one particular dream of one of my patient who said that uh, before during her pregnancy she kept on seeing uh, her dead brother in law and she kept on saying that you know i'm going to come back i'm coming back i'm coming back and when this uh, the child was born the child had all the traits that the uh, brother in law the dead brother in law had you know all the affinity all the traits that the dead brother in law had so she feels that he has come back it is possible i'm not going to deny anything because uh, anything is possible here but uh, the fact is that these things happen just because it does not happen with me does not mean it does not exist it does exists okay so coming back to specific dreaming uh, of dead person and talking to you interpretation and meaning okay so if you dream of a dead person talking to you what does it mean Uh, my grandmother asking her to do her household job fast fast and all and all gap okay asking her to do her household job fast fast okay and uh, how how did she feel household job fast because why because she needs to go somewhere is that what the message or uh, how did she feel she will be able to tell you you know the exact uh, sensation of how she felt because if it's not sensation then it's just her subconscious thought visitation dreams feel as if it's very real you actually met the person the person actually came and uh, spoke uh, to you you will you will feel that otherwise it's just a subconscious thought because she feels or the person might be feeling you know i'm suffering so much that i am not going to survive long and they are calling those kind of dreams but if it's visitation they will actually have those physical sensation all right so now let's talk about these things dreaming of a dead person talking to you as the born was saying if you have dreamt of a d- talking with someone who is dead but you cannot remember any additional details from your dream it means that very soon your friend or a f- member of your family will ask for your advice this person may have a lot of problem in her or his life so it would be good to give her some useful advice and to help her what if when the dream continues after you wake up and you still continue the conversation you see the person even after you wake up then it's more of hallucination then it's uh, you know this is less of a dream and more of hallucination because visitation dream will not continue after you wake up it it stops after uh, you wake up but hallucination is something that can continue during dream and even after you wake up it it con- that's a continuous process okay so dreaming of meeting a dead person and talking to her if you have had a dream in which you have had a meeting with a dead person and then you started a conversation with her this dream has very good symbolism it means that there are a lot of people who love you they respect you and treat you well so not all dead dreams are bad so dreaming of talking with your dead parents if you have dead parent and you see talking with your dead parent if your parents are dead in a real life and you had a dream about talking with them this dream must have scared you or must have made you feel excellent because you are in touch with those person whom you love the most but you don't have to worry because this dream has many positive meanings in most of the cases this dream means that you miss your parents very much and you cannot accept their death you would like that your parents are there to give you advice and help you in many things as a very beginning of this it was a bit different so that there is wishing is saying yes also a dream about talking to dead parents can mean that very soon you will make great success at your job and your financial situations will also improve there is also another meaning related to this dream actually this dream can help you find your inner peace and solve many problems that you have in your life 
so usually uh, people there are people who have this kind of talking to dead parents only at the initial phases of his or her death but some people have a continued uh, conversation a continued dream about their dead parents because somewhere they are not able to uh, you know cope with it because once they are able to cope with it it will go and uh, that is their way of keeping touch with their parents and keeping the person alive and which can also lead to things called hallucination but as long as it is working for the person and not affecting anybody else or the person i don't think there is any problem in that but if it is affecting somebody else then only there is a problem okay so dreaming of your dead mother asking for your help if you had this type of a dream in which you have seen your dead mother asking you for your help it means that you will have a lot of difficulties in the future but you have to be strong and rely on your own abilities you have to be independent and do things on your own most importantly you have to believe in yourself and have your self confidence but if you what if you touch the dead person the person touching you and you can still feel the touch after you wake as i said this is hallucination as see if it would have ended only only in the dream then it's a visitation dream the moment it continues in your wakeful life it is no longer a dream it you are living the dream which becomes a part of the hallucination in hallucination you actually feel that somebody is with you you are able to touch the person the person is able to touch you this is very common in hallucination it's okay it's not a problem as i said as long as it's not bothering anybody else it's not bothering you everything is normal what is normal what is not normal is very subjective what is normal for you might be not normal for me or what is normal for me might not be normal for you which is okay don't worry okay dreaming of your dead brother asking for your help if you had such a dream it means that you are feeling guilty because of something that you have done to your brother while he was alive also this dream can have another meaning and it can indicate that you will get into a conflict with someone very soon it is possible that your problems with your family members as well so now talking about dreaming about your dead grandparents a lot of people see that right if you're talking if you were talking with your dead grandparents in a dream and if they have offered you help it means that you will hear the news that will surprise you very much only dead grandparents i'm talking about but if you're dreaming of talking with your dead relatives i think chandrani would uh, agree to this this she might not have spoken but uh, you have seen uh, dead relatives also as far as i remember the interpretation of this dream is similar to the previous dream so actually talking to dead relatives in your dream can mean that you miss them very much in a real life you would like to have the opportunity to talk one more time with them however this dream could also be an opportunity for you to tell your relatives everything you did not tell them while they were alive however there is another interpretation of dream sometimes it can mean the people around you will not respect you in the future period which may have a negative influence on your self confidence but this interpretation is very minimal the major one is either uh, you miss them very much or there are a lot of things that you have unsaid even my grandparent yeah talking to a dead friend if you had such a dream it's mean that is the same as the meaning of a previous dream there is no doubt that you miss your friend in real life and you would like to spend time with your friend so if you f- actually feel very you know actually miss someone in your real life you see them in your dream but how real is the dream depends on whether you will have a visitation dream or you will have a regular normal dream visitation dream feels very real as if you know when you wake up you know exactly this 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 is happened these are the vivid details it feels very very real that is visitation dreams even i just want to talk about something people even feel very real and uh, feel that uh, they have spoken to and they have spent some time with one person in their dream who is alive who is not dead okay that is not visitation dream that is called astral travel now what is astral travel astral travel means each one of us has the ability to travel from one place to another when i say us it means souls not us not the physical body our physical body has limitations our souls do not have any limitation so our souls has the capability of moving from one place to another so sometimes in your dream you feel that you have spent some good time with a person and when you wake up you feel very sad that thoda soul lete to thoda aur dekh lete and but that person is alive so that is not a visitation dream that's an astral travel where you actually feel you have spent a lot of time with that person or something real happened and it feels very real okay so visitation dream is only about dead people 
Now, another dream I think Chandrani spoke in the last episode is dreaming that a per- dead person is calling you to go with him or her. If I remember this. So, if you have had this dream, it is not a good sign. Especially if you have accepted the call like deja vu. No, 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 not deja vu. Deja vu is something different. I will talk about deja vu in January. Uh, this is specifically you have this ability. Uh, not everybody has the ability. Somebody who is spiritually more advanced or somebody whose sixth sense is very strong. They have this ability to travel. You know, not, all of us do not have this ability to travel. But some of us, uh, you know, the uh, highly, uh, what should I say? I don't want to name anybody specific, but I have seen people in my dreams who are uh, well known. And uh, I felt that, you know, I have spent good quality time with them in my dream. So I did not go anywhere. They came to my dream. And one of them was Pandit uh, Ravi Shankar. Uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, uh, not the musician, but uh, Art of Living and even Sadhguru for that matter. And uh, even if I leave these two people aside, uh, I even have seen a very close friend of mine. Uh, I, I actually say, uh, seen a dream. I still remember it's so vivid that it was a merry-go-round that was going on and I was holding hands and I was, you know, enjoying that time. And when I woke up, I was like searching for that hand, which means that it was very real. So none of us are like too uh, highly uh, acclimatized like uh, the other two person whom I have named. But still you can travel. Astral travel is possible and it has been happening since time immemorial. Okay. So deja vu I will talk a little later. Okay. Uh, so dreaming that a dead person is calling you to go with her as I was saying that it is not a good sign. Uh, especially if you have accepted the call. Hi sort of. Especially if you have accepted the call of that person. Actually, this dream indicates that very soon you may be in a dangerous situation in your real life. It is possible that you will have problems with your health and you will be feeling very bad. Sometimes this dream may also be a symbol of not, you know, a negative symbol actually. However, it is possible that one more person appeared in your dream. If that person has tried to prevent you from going somewhere with a dead person, it means that there will be someone in your real life who will try you to come out of that dangerous situation so if you see a dead person if it's a visitation dream and you feel very very real and if you are seeing that you're going with them that means you know health wise there will be problems and uh, there are it is a it's a bad omen basically but if you do not go and if somebody else appears who stops you from going out you know uh, agreeing to that call that means somebody else will stop you uh, from taking that decision or uh, protect you from that danger in your real life okay uh, if you see of your, your dead grandfather who is asking you to come with him it is again a very bad woman it may have if you may have accepted then there will be danger soon if you have not accepted that means dangers will come but it will not touch you too much if you refuse to go with a dead person somewhere if you refuse to do that that means that you will have luck in the future period and you will avoid all dangerous situations that may appear on your way. This happened to me and after that I got to know about the cancer. I know, I know. As I was saying, I, I could recollect that. Uh, if you see any dead person coming and telling you that they are not dead, if you see this kind of a death, that means you are not able to accept that they are not, uh, that they are, uh, they are not alive. You are not able to accept that. However, this also will help you to accept the fact that you have to move on. Uh, if you dream of a dead stranger, now this is another one. If you see a dead stranger, stranger, you don't know why you are seeing that. If you have seen a stranger in your dream, it means that you should be careful in the future and you should not trust everyone. It is possible that someone will give you advice that will not be good for you. Okay. Any questions, anyone so far? Because I'm done. This is about visitation dreams. You know, people think people are crazy. Uh, I think we had this kind of a discussion uh, once in Sanhati, where people think they are crazy who actually sees this kind of dreams, but they are not. Trust me, they are not. Because uh, it is very common. Uh, those who see that, they know how real it can be, how real it feels. And when there are messages, you know why the messages are. And not everybody can see visitation dreams. Not everyone can. And if you are con getting continuous visitation dreams, please remember that you have the special ability to 
talk to the people on the other hand you know to to talk you have certain special abilities and if you are continuously seeing strangers in your visitation dreams then uh, and they want to tell you something they want you to do something that means you have that special ability to you know which we call that paranormal abilities to get in touch and you have to upgrade that skill and you might ask question that do you believe in all these things yes i believe because i've seen how it works and there is science to that and even if there is no science doesn't matter what is, what exists it exists i have a question when i was admitted in hospital for radiations i saw my grandfather came to meet me through his eyes though his eyes were scary as i told you i remember but he smiled at uh, me only did not speak yes he just came to tell you that you are okay as i told the last time also that you saw your dead grandfather he just smiled his, his things are scary but he just came and smiled and he he you know he just came and he just told uh, just looked at you and assured that everything is okay that's it i have seen my father you know my father passed away in 2012 i have seen my father many times in my dreams especially when i'm in a period of stress he comes and tells me a few things and then next morning i'm fine that doesn't mean that you know i am crazy it just means that uh in my real life he was my only source of uh support my support network and now that the support network is gone sometimes i need those you know the master advice and the person comes and gives me certain advice and just moves on so you cannot explain everything scientifically but if they are just coming and smiling they just tell you that you know they they you have like they have your back they are basically t- telling you but if they are giving you certain messages if it's positive great if it's not then just try and find out that uh, are there anything that is going in your real life which is affecting the or which is leading uh, leading to this kind of messages okay any other questions anyone about visitation dreams anyone else have any questions i see saurav shreshtha devoduti devarna chandrani and moshami if we don't have any questions i think uh, that's pretty much about visitation dreams the next episode of dreams will happen next monday and that is another request to drop topic of dreams and that is wedding dreams when you see wedding dreams so uh, we'll talk about that on monday and this saturday definitely we have a one uh, session with sort of healing through or healing on wheels where we will talk about how you heal through traveling so we'll talk about that this saturday so till then everybody take care if you have visitation dreams you are not crazy it's all right and just inculcate those skills of yours and everything will be fine okay thank you everyone thank you for joining take care